watched The Voice Nigeria on Saturday and it got me really confused. I will tell you guys what caused my confusion before I do so. Um, let me ask you guys a question of this video. Who do you think or who do you believe deserves to win this season of The Voice Nigeria? Let me know in the comment section below and then we'll come back to talking about that. Before I continue this video, I just want to first of all welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. If you are a new viewer here, if you're a passerby, then you are most welcome and you just might want to turn on your subscribe button because this is the space where you get the best at the best of analysis commentaries and reviews about reality tv shows such as big brother niger the voice nigeria nigerian idol any amazing and interesting reality tv show that is airing at any point in time this is where you also get the best and the best of reviews about movies and social issues trending social issues so guys please turn on the red subscribe button and also hit the white bell button that is called the post notification bell that way whenever i upload a new video you will always be the first to get a lot of those videos basically what you're seeing on the screen right now is what you should be doing and trust me you thank me later okay let's get into the video proper now enough of all the introductions guys frankly on saturday's show of the voice nigeria was wild all i could see on that stage was a crazy stiff battle of the vocals it was a crazy battle of the vocals except for kp of course because hey in my previous video i had told you guys that listen it's a known fact yeah kp is a true showman is a true performer but when it comes to vocal prowess dude does not have it at all so let's not even beat ourselves over it okay so saturday's competition guys it was it was wild it was wild of course i was expecting Esther to burn the stage. I was expecting Naomi Mark to set ablaze the entire set, of course. But then, Easy coming from the angle that she came from, I did not see that coming. And hey, I must remind you all once again that I have not been following the show from the get go. You guys requested that I talked about the show. So, whatever I am going to be saying on this video right now, please, if you do not agree with me, do not blame me. It is what I saw happen on the stage on saturday that i am talking about that's my own experience okay so in my own opinion easy came from one crazy powerful angle on saturday and all i could see from a performance is a young woman who is fighting fighting for a spot with her voice i'm not saying that easy's performance was the best no but in terms of growth in terms of acceleration in growth Oh my god it was so amazing to see one individual that was struggling the previous week you know all of a sudden just coming from zero to 100 the next week saturday let's start by analyzing each of the contestants performance one after the other and then we'll come back to the question of who really deserves to win the season of the voice nigeria so esther performed beyonce's love on top and she did something quite unusual very very spectacular i don't know if she's been doing it in all of her performances but guys the one i saw on saturday it blew my mind away it blew off the internet the internet went wild listen it's been established that oh esther knows how to sing esther is she has a great stage charisma she has a soul for music people literally call her the voice but then everybody now knows <laughs> by virtue of the fact that she's always proclaiming the gospel of jesus's name in her songs everybody now knows that esther is a diehard fan of christ everybody now knows that esther is a diehard born again singer guys <laughs> anybody that also knows beyonce's love on top you know that that song is a secular song but guess what esther turned that song she improvised some of the lyrics of that song into a love ballad to christ and it was beautiful to watch starting with her costumes oh my god that costume was the bomb that is something that beyonce would definitely wear to perform of course guys aside the costume talking about how much she carried the stage she was in charge she carried the stage she was all over the stage doing her thing and then what blew me off was her modulations how many modulations did she do i think she did up to four or five modulations and they were very very seamless they were very very flawless they were just so perfect perfectly 
executed and the more she was modulating guys i was scared that she was going to flop but she didn't she pulled through and then that part where she completely threw even the judges away was where she was shouting jesus you got my love and like what hey god guys i was just over here shaking my head i said hey esther has turned beyonce's song into a gospel music concert <laughs> And I wasn't wrong because she got the judges emotional. Daria was literally shedding a tear by the time Esther was done. Wow. Listen, that is one of the most public, unashamedly proclamation and profession of love to Christ that I have seen in a long while. And I love that word that Daria used, you know, the fact that Esther always unashamedly professes and love to Jesus. It's something that people always look forward to see on the show. And I also love what Wajia said, you know, that listen, she's not ashamed to tell the world that, hey, she's a Jesus baby. And guys, <laughs> the internet went wild, actually. The internet went crazy because it was just so beautiful to see how someone could deliver a secular song and then turning that secular song into something that she is passionate about, you know, giving reverence to the one person or the one being that she actually believes in. Dapper's performance was another amazing performance, guys. Another show of musical expertise, performance technicalities and professionalism. I simply love the way he carried himself on the stage. And guys, as I said at the beginning of this video, <laughs> Saturday's show of The Voice Nigeria was simply a battle of vocal prowess and Dapo brought it on. You know what they say, bring it on. And you, you go and open your box, eh? And you now pack all the best, best things that you have and you come out, come and show yourself. <laughs> that was what Dapo simply did on Saturday, guys. He performed them when a man loves a woman. And oh my God, Dakmo brought his soul to the stage. He brought his heart, removed it from his chest and dropped it on that stage like it was hot. I loved the way he sang that song like a perfect gentleman. He sang the song in a very, very cool and calm way, but he did not allow the song to overshadow him. Instead, he performed the song in his own unique way. And there's something about Dakwa's voice. Dakwa has this very, very raw, husky, unique voice that is very, very rare in the music industry. So for me, listening to Dakwa perform on Saturday, guys, it felt very, very fresh and new. I felt like I was, I knew that song, but then because Dakwa was the one performing it, it felt very, very fresh and more evergreen to listen to. Kite's performance was another beautiful performance to watch. Kite performed sexual healing. Now guys, I don't know how many of you have noticed, but Kite and KP, they kind of have a lot in common. The only difference between these two people is their voices, okay? Now, what KP lacks in vocal range is what Kite actually possesses. Kite is a great showman. Kite is a very, very great performer. Kite knows how to control the stage. He knows how to work together with his backup singers, with the instrumentalists. He knows how to engage the audience, the judges, as a matter of fact, in his performances. And he also has an amazing, amazing voice, you know, to put the icing on the cake. But when it comes to KP, KP is a great dancer. He's a very, very interesting showman to watch yes when performing however kp's vocal range is very very weak and guys as i was watching kite perform guys i was super excited for him but then when he came to kp's performance i was already impressed with his vocal delivery guys as i would say i have not been watching the show from the beginning but KP's vocal delivery on Saturday was very, very weak. In my opinion, I felt like KP focused more on dancing. I felt like he focused more on, on, on his showmanship than actually delivering a beautiful song. What song did he even perform again? I think he performed, uh, is it Fireboy's um, Gyration? Yeah, that uh, baby, carry me, they go. Yeah, that song, I think that was the song um, KP performed. And to be very honest, um, I was kind of bored during his performance. I did not feel his performance. Last week's performance or the previous week uh, performance that KP delivered, it was way, way better than this one that he did. And I was kind of sad for him because I felt like, dude, 
this is that one performance that's supposed to actually put you in the finals. So why are you not bringing your all? Why are you not bringing your best to the stage? What's going on? Look at me. I just ended up reviewing KP and um, Kite's performances together. Anyways, guys, I love the fact that I did that because I was going to just tell you guys the disparities and the similarities between both individuals' um, singing style yes and performance style so my verdict is that kite completely slayed that performance i love the way he carried himself on the stage i love the way he embodied the song i love the way he interpreted the lyrics of the song but for kp to be very honest it's one thing to be a very very good performer but then you also need to constantly remind yourself what's the show what the platform stands for the platform the show is called the voice Nigeria not the performance Nigeria not the dancer Nigeria the voice Nigeria is not a dance competition and I feel like that is where KP is missing it because I watched his um, short um, interview you know this thing that they do with the contestants before they go on stage where they get to talk share their thoughts and stuff like that and KP was talking about him being passionate about dancing and also being passionate about singing and i'm like okay fine great the kind of talent that kp possesses is what we have um to an extent in the music industry in nigeria today we have more people that can do a lot of acrobatics on the stage but do not really know how to sing with their voices so at the end of the day they go into studios and they fine tune their 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 vocals they, they get people to sing the songs for them and then when they come on, to, on on the stage they do more of lip syncing and demonstrating and just dancing you know so i am hoping that that is not going to be the line that kp toes in his career because such a line of talent sometimes i wonder if it's actually sustainable in my opinion talking about naomi mac let me remind you guys again that hey glory elijah did not follow the show all through but one thing i sure did and sure did not miss out on was naomi mac's audition i watched that audition and that audition was mind-blowing it was crazy i was simply amazed and i remember that day that i tweeted or i was telling someone that this woman is going to be a force to reckon with on that stage on that show and guys naomi mark has actually really really come a long way she has come a long way i did some background check on her she has been struggling to win a music competition show for the longest of time I heard that she's been on The Voice before. I heard that she's been on Is It Access The Stars on quite a number of music competition shows. In fact, Faith Mack, um, that did not make it through to the top five, top three in Nigerian Idols, I heard that they are sisters. Like guys, imagine the, the, the wealth of talents that exist in that family. But that is not the crux of this conversation about Naomi Mack. What did I notice about Naomi Mack? on saturday naomi max performance on saturday just completely reaffirmed to me that hey this woman has a commanding presence in music in music delivery in music performance guys she's she has such an amazing voice very very powerful tool for self-expression the way she interprets the lyrics of every song that she performs on stage guys it's simply out of this world what did she perform she performed them this guys i don't know the lyrics of that song but how did she even learn the lyrics of that song for me it beats me because i cannot do that guys how was she able to combine singing and dancing to that kind of music at the same time it was simply amazing i don't know how she's been doing it on the show so far but on saturday's performance guys she sang with so much authority she sang with so much passion she sang with so much you know confidence and guys that was the kind of energy the kind of spirit the kind of soul that that song she performed needed and to be very honest i will repeat what i said last week that this competition is a stiff one between naomi mack and esther <laughs> guys all of you voting it's gonna be wild it's gonna be crazy and I'm, I'm feeling sorry for all of you already because i know that you guys are already in a dilemma like oh who is going to win this show well May the best man or the best woman win. Now, I'm just going to touch down on Easy's performance again. I already talked about it briefly at the beginning of this video, but hey guys, can we just give 
a round of applause. Let's just give a standing ovation for Easy. Woo! Trust me, watching Easy perform the way she did on Saturday, it made my night. It made my night. Listen, I had already enjoyed other performances from other contestants, but you know, remember what I said in my previous video about Easy. You know, she was singing with so much fear, and I was I was here over here. I was encouraging that girl, go on. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. And then somehow I felt like Easy actually heard my words. I felt like she heard what I said, and then she came back on Saturday. Oh my God! And she sang a very very powerful song written and delivered by a very very powerful female music artist that's um jennifer hudson yes and then she came and sang that song and guys oh my god she drew out my soul from my body i was so happy i was so impressed waje was so impressed that waje went ahead on stage and gave her a warm hug if you cast your mind back to the first time that song was actually performed it was on the movie dream girls where we had jennifer hudson we had Beyonce, yes, we had Jamie Foxx and the likes of the likes of those stars. When Jennifer Hudson performed that song, it was at a point where she was depressed, where she had lost it all, where she had lost her friends, her close friends and her family, where she had, where she had lost her dream of being one of the most, you know, celebrated musicians of her time. So the passion and the soul that she used to deliver that song in that movie, guys. Watching Easy perform on Saturday, that was the exact same thing I saw. Easy was in pain. She was scared. And at the end of her performance, she was so emotional, she was crying. And when Nancy Osime asked her, okay, tell us how you feel, let us know. She said that she could not believe that she made it through to the top six. And guys, I felt that. I could relate with that. I was so scared that Izzy was the one that was gonna go home. I was so scared. So seeing her make it through to the top six, guys, woo, she deserves it. She deserves it. Listen, guys, in my frank opinion, all of the contestants, they brought their best foot forward. And <laughs> to be honest, at this point in time, it's gonna be a stiff competition anyways, but you, the voters, will decide. However, what got me confused yes for um the show on saturday was that it had a top six i thought that usually it should be a top five and then first runner up second runner up and third runner up or the should i say first runner up second runner up and then the winner will be chosen but then i saw a top six and i was wondering like are these people rushing the show or, or is this the way it has always been so that's a question to you guys that have been watching the show from season one this is the season three right now so please let me know is this how it's always been done is this supposed to be or oh, a top six situation where they get the winner or is it supposed to be like a top five situation or a top three situation like we had in nigerian idols or a top two situation i don't know how has it always been with the voice nigeria i would love to know in the comment section below guys so please enlighten me enlighten me and um also don't forget the question that i asked at the beginning of this video who do you believe deserves to win the season three of the voice nigeria let me know in the comment section below and i will see you all on another episode of frankly speaking with glory and lastly i just want to thank all of you that took a time to join my youtube live stream on saturday thank you all so much and don't forget guys this happens every saturday 3 p.m wat on my youtube channel don't miss out for this weekend one have an amazing day bye